Maayong Adlaw sa Tanan. Happy Tuesday. And once again, welcome to another episode of our weekly Agiu PIE 7 Forum. Live kita sa DYMR Radio Pilipinas Cebu, 576 kilohertz sa inyong mga radyo. So sa itong mga suking tigpaminaw sa Kabisayan o Mindanao, Maayong Adlaw kaninyo. Ug adun na usap kita'y live streaming sa ito ang Facebook page sa Philippine Information Agency Region 7. Ug ka mga dili makapaminaw ka na ito karun, adun na kita'y delayed telecast over my TV channel 30 Mondays to Saturdays 3 to 4 p.m. and Sundays 1 to 2 p.m. So manghinaut mi ngayon inyo kaming ubanan for this one hour discussion which is brought to you by the Philippine Information Agency in partnership with the Association of Government Information Officers in the region. Live kita sa Department of Health Regional Office, Jones Avenue, Cebu City. Kini si Hazel Gloria and with me is my colleague Stacy Marie Balaja. Stacy, maayong adlaw kanimo. Mayong adlaw, Ma'am Hayes. Daghang salamat sa atong tig paminaw o tig tanaw sa atong weekly Agio PIA Forum. With us today, Ma'am Hayes, no more well, well represented yun ang atong government agencies karon kabahin sa kaning food, safety, and sanitation in Central Visayas. Yes, days. With us, Ma'am Hayes, is Engineer John Ray Labandero, Regional Sanitary Engineer from the Department of Health, Region 7, we also have Dr. Wilberto Castillo, Chief of the Integrated Laboratory Division from the Department of Agriculture in Region 7. And we have Ms. Lucretia Omatugas from the Food and Drug Administration Region 7. So sa pagkakaroon, Ma'am Hayes, mga silang opening statements. Yes, sige stage, no? And siguro ato lang sang i-announce, no? Ipaibaw sa tanan nga later on. Ah, okay. Naana siya. Ako na tayo siyang i-announce nga later on mo. Join na siya nato. So, siguro stays. Introduce nato si Mr. Brian Ivanez, the OIC Provincial State, uh, Science and Technology Director of DOST 7. Sir, mayong adlaw ka ni mo. So, siguro stays. No? Uh, later on, um, sa mo nang hisgutan ganina, no? nga well represented kaya nga itong mga government agencies karon and we'll be discussing about food safety no so the question is um, are we eating safe food diba so siguro atos lang pangayuan og unsay ilang mga roles and responsibilities og mga programs and services aron to ensure sa atong publiko no nga safe ang atong mga gipangaon so before that siguro atos lang pangayuan og opening statement so siguro stays kinsa atong unahon unahon lang nato from the department of health engineer labandero ah uh, one of the primary concerns sa uh, Department of Health is food safety. So, importante yung kayo nga safe ang atong food, ang atong kikaon, especially atong mga raw materials or atong tubig yung gigamit. So, importante kayo ang patektahan. So, uh, we hope nga uh, tanang agencies, Department of Health and other agencies concerning food safety, so we, we should do our part good in order to protect the consumer's health, the people nga mukuan sa pagkaon. So, maura na siya ako sa as we also have Dr. Wilberto Castillo from the Department of Agriculture. Sa Department of Agriculture, ang gitagang ginamo pag uh, bugat ang gibugaton ang pesticide contamination aside from uh, microbial contamination and physical contamination. Uh, thank you, sir. Um, we have Ms. Lucretia Matugas from the Food and Drug Administration. Okay. Um, ang concern sa FDA is to guarantee the safety. So safety sa establishment, sa mga product nato, and then we do inspection sa ilaha mga establishment for sanitar sa sanitary condition nila. And last but not least, we have Mr. Brian Imbanias from DOST. Uh, sa Department of Science and Technology, na anatay program on uh, food safety. It's a na national level. Mm. Yeah, sa region, we have <coughs> continuing training and consultancy programs. So we have an education campaign to our food manufacturers and also to our food service providers. Uh, so through our trainings, uh, DOST is helping our MSMEs and the general public on how to properly uh, prepare safe foods to avoid foodborne in illness and foodborne illness outbreaks. Thank you. So, okay. mayong sugda na nato karan ma'am no? Ang atong sir, mag-una na lang punta sa DOST. So, unsa ka ang role ani sir sa science and technology when it comes to food safety and sanitation sa region? Yes, so um, uh, through the years, no, together in coordination with the Department of Health and Food and Dr FDA and the DA, uh, 
interagency ng mga programs nato. Sa DOST, we, we help in um, developing a training modules and conducting uh, subsidized or mga free trainings to, to all levels of uh, uh, our consumers and including our uh, manufacturers as well. No? So, um, ato na ginabuhat since uh, 2006, we have uh, the OST Region 7 was the pioneer in the development of food safety teams in the whole Philippines. So, kita naka nakauna and then we help other regions to duplicate our programs in coordination with all other agencies uh, as well as private sectors. So, kaning training program, I'm owning is schedule every month. Okay. We did a good mo register ato aditong mga uh, the, atong micro and small nga mga food manufacturers, no? And it's subsidized, so it's actually free. free yes, free, no? So, not a food handler level, na po tayo for supervisors, no? Para masabtan gidugtarong. So, we can do that in a public uh, run training in our DOST nga conference room. And we can also do that in the community level. Okay. Lahim mm sa tong levels of training for the food handlers. So, we customize it uh, in another in a dialect nga uh, language no in we can conduct it in anywhere no even in islands in bohol mm. we have done that this past few years and going on natay data sir pila naka sa training modules atong na distribute or training nga atong na conduct within central visayas um More yes, or less. we have because we are going to report man every quarter and then annually no to the central office of our activities uh, it is our mandate to help in developing uh, technology, especially technology to provide safe foods. So, karon ato mga training modules, nag start siya from the basic uh, good manufacturing program, food handler level, and then even until to the higher level ng mga food safety uh, courses like in HACCP and even to ISO. But for our micro and small enterprises, maybe they will be overwhelmed with the higher ng mga training programs, no HACCP and all this ISO. Okay, pang dagko man siya, ma'am, no? Uh, it's applicable to them, but we now more um, prioritize the delivery of katong mga basic ang sa mga food hygiene programs. Mm -hmm. So we have around four to five different modules for food safety, depending on the target ng mga audience, and so on. Yes. Sir, ka sa SMEs ninyo nga, nga training, separate sa na siya, included na na siya kaning mga Kana mga gag ginagmay lang gani nga mga kananan ingana mga karenderia Yes we we do invite them in a, in a separate session um, because for example through in the city the Cebu city we have a module for uh, for mga meat processors in carbon market no and so on uh, that is really customized to their operation pili ra siya ina 2 hours lang no 3 hours ng lecture lecture and then interaction mo siya coaching to them with our technologies and our mga food technology experts and food safety experts and so on. But we, all, we do have mga full courses good nga one to one day and two days for katunag yung mga small scale, medium scale to yes. nga mga enterprises. No? How was the response sa mga audience, sir? Kumusta man? Uh, um, yeah, yes, they, they, they the love training. and they are very thankful that the, these initiatives are, <coughs> are being provided by the government, although they know that it is our mandate. Mm -hmm. To be delivering this, uh, most especially kay uh, free rasha, no, and then kanidi ato mga pagtulunan nga makuha sa kaning trainings na dili lang siya applicable sa ilang ilang business, but also in our respective panimalay, no. Kay we all eat food, we love and and despite the efforts to prepare lami nga food, no delicious food, nagi mga lapses in the food preparation and and at home one good na itabo gina nga naay mga uh, mga mis handling and resulting to cross contamination and mga sakit atong mga members sa family no and so on so we we educate them until, until that level kay kanang ninot mag develop ang values and to create a culture of food safety dili lang ingon nga uh, this requirement of, of the law but because it is our social responsibility to be serving safe food Aside aning mga training modules, sir, unsa pa yung activities na to kabahin aning food safety and sanitation? Um, it's a DOST. Our training is just one of them. Uh, we also develop the training manuals for both uh, the lecturers and for the food handlers. We have a consultancy program. So, a consultancy more or less customized, mo siya coaching, no? 
So I am a micro scale businesses. Uh, I cannot afford to uh, magpamubayad ko no over uh, external nga private nga dagko nga mga consultancy firms. They can avail the DOST program. We have a consultancy program for MSME, micro small. Kaya kani magud atong tabanganan kayo no. So they can just go to the office and register for free said na siya, sir. Yes ma'am. Mm -hmm. We can make their simple procedures na requirement basta na ato no sa FDA di ba ma'am no. Oh, so nowadays nagkadaghan na ato mga manufacturers and the USC wants to uh, help our agencies like FDA, DOH especially no. Kay um dagko na kay ang trabaho uno nato in the government and we have to help each other. So amo a is we are going to coach them and provide uh, these services including until the making of some simple manuals simple as no to for them to easily uh, remember mga things to do in their operation simple and then it can lead depending on the what they want or what they need we can conduct a needs assessment para maka maka conduct it a full scale consultancy program until ma pwede na sila ma certify mm. yes, we can we can do that and and more other things um, equipment especially uh, in food safety man good natay kitawag nga kanang hao mga mga equipment nga magamit o bakery operation daghan kay tag bakery no so sila mamalit ang somewhere else and so on so there are there are appropriate specifications sa equipment nga dili siya dali makontaminate nya mudu mudugay siya og lungtad no it's a uh, lasting siya in the operation and so on so one of the major nga activity nato sa food safety program sa DOST as a whole so sa region 7 we are proud na we are one of those nga one good can kind of aggressive in our campaign for for food safety uh, education to our mga to our MSMEs no, and to the general public. Okay, Stace, siguro paminawon sa nato si Dr. Castellano no, from the Department of Agriculture, sir. So, uh, sa Department of Agriculture, ang ang role is um, promotion of uh, so promotion of food safety in the in the production phase. So, in the production phase. Um, we are uh, offering trainings also on good agricultural practices and good animal husbandry practices. And uh, we are also offering um, laboratory services such as uh, pesticide uh, residue analysis, uh, microbial analysis, and other, and other analysis. So, on such sir, you uh, conduct sa mag training sa mga farmers regarding ana sa inyong yeah. program? Yeah, nag, uh, natay mga trainings on farmers on good, like for example sa, sa vegetable, vegetables, uh, fruits production, on, on mga, good agricultural uh, practices. Uh, 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 uh. On dapat nga mga kanang on na sir nga dapat i, i ano sa mga vegetables. Yeah, basically uh, 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 ang gi ang gitanaw nato diya towards food safety is uh, number one is as I said ang mga, pesticide yes, contamination. Uh, uh. So ato nang gi monitor. Then, aside from that, we're also um, microbial contamination. Mm -mm. Uh, labihan na sa mga lepe vegetables. Oh, oh. uh, Gitanaw sa nato ng gigamit na mga, mga, ka na, mga irrigation water. <laughs> Kay mm -hmm. delikado po diha. Oh, 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 oh. But, uh, ang pinaka, kung ang ginamu is ang pesticide contamination. Oh, oh. Yeah, Mo focus. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Uh, Pagtagad. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, Stace. Siguro, sir, thank you so much. Balikan lang ka na mo later on. Stacy, Siguro, we would like to hear from um, Ms. Ms. Lucretia Matugas, Matugas yes, from, from the FDA. Okay. Um, sa FDA, since ang atong license to operate is gikinahang land yes, so no? So, needed yun nga, labi na sa product registration on niya. So, ang amo lang yun nga, uh, initiate po dito, um, nag-help me sa industry um, to get sa, in coordination with the DTI, uh, uh, DOST, mm -hmm. sa DA, ng ilang mga seminars so kinahanglan gyud na asila proper training regarding kung maghimo sila og mga kana mga process sila no because ang under sa FDA sa mga process og mga prepackage ng mga food products uh, excluding na kato mga restaurant so ilaha na sa sanitary sa local so now uh, ang ato lang gyud dihang ikuan is ang more on sanitation ta og sa quality sa product so for Ang amo agid nga um, activity is to license sa mga gustong mga mga micro mga microprocessor, mga small business na mga nagprocess ba. So um mo na encourage na mo since online sa nang atong application 
nag-initiate me ang murag ang Region 7 ra ang nag-initiate for tutorial every Monday at 9 9 a.m. So free na siya for free para lang maka mao sila nga mo kuan bitaw mo apply through online. Oo, so daghan na ditong nag-apply every Monday. So mo adto lang sila uh, before 9 para ma-facilitate sila. So another food during sa inspection dili mi basta-basta nga siguro kung bag-o siya nga mag-apply no. Ang ato lang diha is uh, mura og ma ma ilang i-uploading lang application. So once mag-o mag na, amo nang i-claim sa e-portal and then we do inspection mo adto mi sa establishment and then Kung dili siya maka-comply, tagaan pa namon as nagpila ka days to comply. Dili gyud siya may mo notice of violation kaagad-agad. But if um if ma notice namo na ma-compromise na ang safety, syempre. Tagaan gyud notice of violation for them to comply. So, when specs at me katong nag-renew na in compliance sa ilahang murag continuous compliance bitaw if nag-comply ba sila continually. If dili gista ka comply pod pero notice na mo nga so far sa mga nag license na uh, mura og mo comply gid sila so git ni try gid sila sa lang best nga ma continue nila ang ilang kanang production so so far mura wala tay problema ana uh, ang ilang ragid kuno is ang ilang kuan kuno financial but amo um, silang giingon nga since ang DOST naghatag silang mga program nga maka help po nila so muna amo sang gi-coordinate sa ila ha ipasa na po namo kay lang sir Brian so ang feedback murag okay ang feedback so far sa safety sa atong product um gawas lang katong uban nga wala pa gyud mo adto mo duol dito sa office so muna magki-coordinate sa di sa atong mga agency para ato tyong i ipakuan ba encourage ato nga mo apply gyud sila for a license kay help man sad gihapon na sa ato ah so for um, for sa atu apong post na po tagi tawag og post marketing surveillance so once na na ang product sa market i monitor sa namo bisan unsa pa kagamay namo amo lang gyud silang gi tagaan po time para ma monitor namo ang ilang product nga na na sa market so far okay naman ang uban nga mga ilahang product ang uban lang nalay ubang mga lapses um, siguro tungod sa labeling kay kinahanglan compliance sa labeling requirement no dapat na ay expiration date kung mukuan sila gyud importante gyud ang expiration date og ang labi na gyud kay mandatory naman na ang CPR karon certificate of product registration uh -oh. so importante na so mo na among ginamonitor nga dapat compliant ang mga establishment Okay. Ma'am, naka-mention maka ganina, especially ka mga first timer no nga mo, mo apply no for for license sa ilang uh, ilang product or sa ilang unsa ilang business. Um unsa usually nga dili nila ma-comply nga requirements uh, ang equipment ba or unsa mga um uh -oh. since ang uban gyud mostly gyud financial nila nga ko an oo. Kay ang sa kuan pa lang kuno sa establishment dapat mang good limpyo siya wala bay kanang kanang murag possible nga contamination ba nga mo but in sa ilang well nagprocess sila so mao na since maghatag man ang taga DOST o kanang assistant mo assist man ni sila so daghan na sila na assistan daghan na gyud mostly ah, so ang DOST is nasa may financial assistance sir nga ihatag yeah. ah okay yeah i feel to mention no but oh. it's not directly for food safety mm. we have a program program actually yeah, that is gitawag na to Set up is an actual acronym for Small Enterprises Technology Upgrading Program. So we provide the technology equipment. So ato na mo so simple. Be careful ng ano mam no. Gamay ka ayo taon siya ni. Di ka afford because of financial constraints. Maluoy ta. So we have a itawag na namo siya og kanang rent to own program. No, a zero interest na siya. It's not really a grant, but the equipment after after mga four or five years ilahan na na. Because in the government, good if it's a grant, it is continuously will be a government property. Uh, what we want is for them to really maningkamot iba sa business, no? But the they can they can definitely they can afford to to pay the rent, no? Okay, zero interest. So if they need an oven, there is food safety compliant, mga dryer for our dried fruits, no? So munindot mga dinam. Number one, na ang gusto namo is makatabang mi sa productivity. 
para mo redown sa ilaha ba mo improve ilang business, they can employ more people so it can help the economy. They can later on kung mapasar sa food safety requirements sa to FDA, then they can export no so mo asinso sila generate employment, it can help the economy no so and we want this to redound to everyone everyone else no so kung mahuman na sila ana nga nga program mo graduate mo gud na sila ma'am no and they can again avail no and so na lang siya limit pero dugay pa man sa siya then the 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 fund who can help others na pod kay mo na magingon nga zero interest para mo tuyok siya then another MSME in pod mo ka avail and then it's a package of assistance so it uh, it can help also sa food safety nga compliance nila kay para ma-approve ni FDA dapat uh, less ang chance nga makontaminate ang equipment so nindot mga nindot ang yang specification that's one of the areas that the DOST technology no very technical siga may mo nang amo gid ikus one on one mo tabang no dili lang ngon nga tagaan natog money because we do not promote the the funding we want we want to promote the technology para dili pud masilaw ba with the funding no so anana nga scheme and then daghan na kay ni graduate ma majority gyud sa region 7 food gyud naka avail naman pud minan food kay nang metals machine shop they can avail of our technology assistant and the good thing ananiya is through their own testimonials put kato ni graduate na for the last 2004 pa man nagsugod is is really elevated their their kuan their their business no nakatabang sila sila po kung community magali na layo sila sa province naka-employ no nakatabang sa employment and then later on agawas nga kanang ni, ni improve sila no and, and so on is uh, they also cascade the the pro they also help others no more expression of social responsibility nga oh ang among gusto ni tabangi pud ninyong uban when you become big kay the micro we do not want them to stay micro we want them to become small and then medium and later on ko large scale dili na siguro na government kay kaya naman siguro ninyo ma'am no ana so we also help the DTI now we coordinate with FDA and so on so and that in that sense nga technology na siya kabaw tang dili sila ka afford uh, through us na tay programa na we kita wag na to set up it's one of the flagship program of the the UST in the community level no ma ang amo ning gipromote dili na sa city but in the province kinaa dito nang inalang tabang no mga bijo poor gid bagamay no nga dikaabot ato ang some of our services kay layo man so ang amo tawag gid ani is package of technology so naa na di ang consultancy naa na di ang training so do ulam we have experts and generally it's really free no and then wala ang among assistance and we coordinate with all other branches of uh, all other agencies but Bito mo na kung na ano sa kung mind gini nga package technology gidang gano sa DOST di ba? And siguro mostly sa karon sir ma'am di ba ang business is food. So yeah. mo nang grabe gid ang mga boom sa yes sa mga pagkaon everybody loves food you know it's sure. Kay, ang atong tourism di ba ni increase? So daghan gyud ni responsibility DOH oh. no? <laughs> FDA niya. Ano DOST di magi kay di man ta regulatory gid no? So na regit ta in the assistance sa technology and the science scientific basis of everything. So mga to nga nakita na mo because of the in, local and foreign nga tourist influx ang food ni grabe food no daghan naking food businesses uh, ni increase ang hatong hotels no and of course when the when the food ni increase siya ang number the the risk management risk will increase so even more nga magkinala ta more coordination and more aggressive in our monitoring and our and our campaign uh, in our programs okay stays no so siguro Paminaon sa natang department of DOH, yes. Ms. Engineer, uh, Engineer Labandero. John Ray Labandero. Yes. So, Presidential Proclamation Number 160, Series of 1999, uh, declaring last week of October of every year as Food Safety Awareness Week. So, this proclamation seeks to create public awareness and educate people on food safety in order to reduce and ultimately eradicate food poisoning and foodborne illness. So this is led by Department of Health in collaboration with other agencies just like the OST, uh, DA and FDA. So in observance of this celebration, uh, this coming September 22, we will be having a motorcade from Mandawi City Health to Cebu City Health. And then we'll end up to Cebu Provincial Capital for the program of food safety. Uh, there will be booth display that will showcase farm products that are GAP certified. So, di man ta kaingon nga limpyo atong kuan, atong ikonsume. Kung ang atong kamot dili limpyo ini during kaon na to. So, October 15, uh, Global Hand Washing Day celebration. So, this will be celebrated in Mantatao Island, Kalapi, Bohol, by, uh, headed by the Regional Office Department of Health. So, Annual Global Advocacy Day, 
dedicated to advocating and hand washing with soap as an easy, effective, and affordable way to prevent diseases and save lives. So the theme is clean hands for all. So for the Department of Health, roles and responsibility under the Code of Sanitation, we have the uh, we capacitate sanitation inspectors in the enforcement of the local uh, based on the Code of Sanitation. Ang ilahagid is the issuance of sanitary permits so sa local health office. So kita mo assist sa on how to uh, assist the facility in order to enforce the sanitation standard based on the code of sanitation. So of course, dapat nagi sila health card. This is a requirement from the local health office prior to the issuance of sanitary permit. Nagi sila health card and then na conduct sila, nakakandak sila testing on water quality sa ilang ipanggamit ng tubig. And then naabas sila vermin control program. These are just uh, highlights on the requirements prior to issuance of sanitary permit and business permit for food establishment. So in relation to uh, the Regional Food Safety Committee, uh, the Department of Health as the chair for the Regional Food Safety Committee uh, Technical Working Group, ang uh, responsibility ay nato sa Department of Health is shall be responsible for the conduct and documentation of epidemiological monitoring studies on food and waterborne illnesses, more on the uh, epidemiological studies monitoring, be responsible for the responding during outbreaks on food and waterborne illnesses. And then conduct epidemiological study on food and waterborne illnesses through the regional epidemiological surveillance unit namo diri sa region. And then conduct information and awareness campaign regarding food safety through health education promotion officers. Shall assist the LGU in establishing a mechanism for the issuance and enforcement of ordinances and regulation for food safety on national standards within their territorial jurisdiction. And lastly, shall coordinate and provide technical assistance to LGUs in the enactment of ordinances and regulations pertaining to their jurisdiction in this act. So, so we, we capacitate sanitary inspe sanitation inspectors to our uh, Code on Sanitation Refresher course. Uh, we capacitate them on the food establishment, Chapter 3 of the Code on Sanitation. So, ato na siyang gi capacitate in order nga sila na mismo may makakuan sa ilahang uh, implementation and enforcement on the code of sanitation. Sir, regarding sa kanang monitoring, kumusta man ang ato ang mga establishments while doing the kanang monitoring nato sa sanitary inspection? Uh, ang sa ako alang, dili kay ko kakuan sa kay LGU man ko mag-issue mga permits sa sanitation inspectors. So, kasagaran lang siguro nga makita nato is the sustainability or maintenance atong kuan kay during the date of inspection atong makita nga Murang mga andam gi sila limpyo kayo ang establishments uh, mga bag-o tanan limpyo kayo atong counters ang ato ang sana atong mga garbage bins limpyo kayo uh, every day regular ang collection pero kung mag-random te yeah, kuan ka during especially kung kanang busy days just like Christmas mga na ni mga kuan so digid maato nila mo na say problema sustainability on the sanitation nato mo na atong kasagaran makita Okay, siguro stays, no? Um, Daghan na mindset of na-share, no? Ang atong mga panelists. So, I think uh, we're opening now the floor for some questions from our media friends. So, uh, food safety. Kanang sa mga ambulant vendors na to are selling street food, like uh, mga tempura, mga quick-quick, itlog, <laughs> na pa yung mga kinason, lain-lain lang, no? But now, that uh, the city government is uh, kining nag- regulate man sila on their stations asa sila but my my uh, concern is how safe are this food no they are not only consumed by the locals but also natay mga visitors who are coming here munya na magud tay case in point not here in metro cebu but in uh, asturias the 11 girl scouts who went on a camping uh, ang claim was katong ilahang bahaw nga kanon but the the school supervisor no the district supervisor i mean uh opined that dili sa bahaw but dito sa nayuban nga nakakaog ice cream nakakaon pud o kining balot so that is why uh my question is how safe are those uh, our our street food and uh, does the government or do these uh, government agencies have programs being followed in order to regulate 
those ambulant vendors selling street food. Thank you. Uh, thank you for that answer. Basig matubag na ko or nabasad po sila i-share. So sa Department of Health, ang amo lang yung strengthen na mo is dapat these vendors, nakagini sila mga sanitary permit, regular yun ang inspection nila. And of course, number one is, are they fit to work as food handler? Kung saan may kuha na na, is dapat na sila health card. Wala ba sila communicable nga disease while preparing these foods? So basic ilahang ma-transmit sa ilang mga customers or katong mga consumers. And then, for ambulant vendors, uh, based on code on sanitation, uh, they are allowed only to sell pre-packed foods. So, kana mga pinutos daan na. So, they are not allowed to use, uh, to sell foods nga kanang gamitan o mga utensils. So, for ambulant vendors. So, based on the code on sanitation. So, as long as the local health office uh, regularly monitors these establishments, uh, dapat uh, naagi health cards, uh, dapat mo create po sila ilang kaugalingon nga ordinance uh, for specific type of food. Kaya na may base sa ato ang code of sanitation na amang wala ma-mention din ha ang mga, ma mga nag, nang, nang buto na karon ng mga food establishments na wala ma-mention. So dapat i-adapt nila ang ilang mga ordinances based on the current ng mga food establishment na usay nag-exist karon. So strict implementation lang yun sa kuno sanitation. Sanitation sa area, dapat keep the area clean. Yes, actually, I have two points sana, no? Sa case in point. First, Ana, is we really have to be proactive uh, information and campaign and build the... You, you cannot train somebody to become expert or to become very good in food handling, in food safety especially. Especially kaya na itong ambulant vendors, no? Ma-left out mag na sila because of mawalik ilang status. But still, as mentioned by Sir, no? Department of Health, that Required yapo na sila ana, and we need to continue our uh, communication, information campaign. No, di, di lang yung siya nga deliberate training, but we have to continue educate them, and invite them, in uh, mga atong mga pa lang mga simple nga mga mga information campaign and trainings. So so proactive, it has to be continuous. No, di lang yung nakat training na siya kausa, then pwede nag di na nimo invite on kaya mana. No, but has to be refreshed from now from time to time and so on. Second point. Um, is to know if the the situation or the food or kinsa gihinungdan ana is kinahanglan siya investigate and i think that's what the OH ila ng expertise but, no? but to note that the, there is a thing to to tanawon ana niya nga parameters para makabawtang it is really from the food not from the water or not as an illness nga predisposing sa usa ka tawo no ana nagani siya illness mo na nasakit but not from the food para pud ato pud siyang tagaan pud og uh, to vindicate ba nga justice pero ang sige gitarong tog himo ang food by the ambulance vendor pero nya di siya contaminated yun. actually pero lahi ang inungdan but in that case nga daghan ang nasakit there are four things i consider first are they really eating the same food pareha exactly basic isolated incident second is they show the same signs and symptoms so doctors nemo sultian ano third is kinahanglan lang kag investigation of the food in a laboratory pili sa amo as a DOST we have a food laboratory Ma-minumerate na ito ang mga tanang microbes that cost it, or please FDA or sa DA na sir. Third side is, at ikaw pa at last, is it combined with the stool culture stool exam. Kung pariho ba ang ma-isolate nga pathogen or disease causing bacteria ang nakita sa food na adito sa stool culture. That is the scientific basis to establish, for example, si Usaka Karinderia, no? Or kanaan itong ambulant vendor or Usaka Hotel, what's really the cause of the foodborne illness or waterborne, waterborne illness ng mga cases. So, Unless we fulfill those four requirements, we can hear say rigid siya. Like, alleged rigid siya kutub. And we point fingers. Looy po lang. Of course, number one, looy atong consumer. Kaya ang consumer magin atong, atong customer, gino? Sila magin ang tuyo ang itanan. But second, we also have to, ato pong butang justice, ang gahimok sa pagkaon. Basi, gitarong gito nila, but then it was not properly stored. Wagi kaon da yun. Mamanay cost, ma'am, karun sa mga food poisoning. Wagi kaon nag-feeding ta, pero wagi kaon kay parpamahaw dito. Nalingaw pa mas activity na about o plunge, no? Answer, no? And then, ang pathogen, ang bacteria nga makadaot, mutubo mana, no? O, di may masakit na dayon, ikaon na itong contaminated, no? Na, pwede man ito makakaon o bacteria, makadaot, pero di lang mo saka sa taas ng standard limits. So, naan ang investigation, himo sa mga eksperto, nga ato yung ma-proven kung unsa yung hinungdan. And then, we, we don't want to accuse anybody. Ang ato, Anna, we, we can 
get a lesson from it and to be better in our info, um, information campaign and in our, in our regulation and so on. Uh, there are uh, products that are now displayed in uh, the supermarkets claiming that they are uh, products organically grown. Now, my, my question is, uh, are these really certified before the Department of Agriculture that these are organic? Because when you say organic, then the people would tend to uh, buy those products because, uh, number one, we believe that it's safe to eat because uh, why uh, mga killing pesticides, no, mga chemicals that can kill humans. But uh, sometimes uh, the people like me uh, will become worried in uh, buying those products because uh, we would just, you can just see on the uh, uh, label that uh, they are really organically grown or uh, organically produced. But we cannot ascertain really that they are. Uh, no, uh, perhaps we can see and we can uh, surmise organically. My question is, uh, is the Department of Agriculture is really uh, doing monitoring and uh, accreditation or uh, some kind of uh, like registering those real, uh, those uh, companies or kining producers of organically grown or agricultural products? Yeah, ang, ang department is uh, nagite uh, certification. Uh, ang problema lang kay Anate uh, mga certified organic, uh, we are speaking of organic, uh, organic certification and gap certification. Now, ang organic certification, there are only two uh, certifying bodies. Ang OCCP, katung tuas sa Luzon, nag-base, o kaning NICERT, nga naapod rin sa Negros Island lang. Now, uh, nate mga mga certified organic sa una diri sa Central Visayas pero wala to sa ma-sustain lagi kay mahal ang certification mahal man ang sa organic now uh, the second point is katong uh, monitoring naatay monitoring uh, ang kuna na ang BAPS ang Bureau of Agricultural Standards uh, so naatay uh, monitoring pero dili pud nga na regular ba now Gani sa uh, sa usa sa supermarket naka kuyog ko sa monitoring one time is na dito gibutangan nila OCC OCCP certified. Now, so ang akong primero pangutan na why OCCP certification nga layo man to. Imagine kung kung magpa-certify sila sa OCCP ang plate sa eroplano lang daan sa mga certify mga certifier, ikaw gay mo mo ko na na mo gasto. Plus the coin. So, why not nicer? Nga naaral sa nag, nag, nag base sa Bacolod o sa Dumagiti. So, moto namin, nakalabel dito. Moto, nagkakuan na sila. So, gitawag ang nicer, gitawag ang kuan, ang manager na gani. Nga, no, gibutangan ninyo kung CCP certified. When in fact, dili dito certified sa CCP. Butang-butang lang. Mo, mo, mo na. So, uh, another one is napod tayo sa nga one pod nga during the monitoring uh, certified siya organic so that means what's a hey, pesticide contamination now pag try pag try sa laboratory kay naamay naamay ko an naamay naamay residue so ang gi, gi ko an na mo gi investigate na mo only to find out nga ang iyang farm Nahurut man to iyang ko an, nahurut man ang iyang supply, so ni palit sa sa ni boring ko an, so which is uh, dilito siya ko an. Now sa gap certification, ang nakanindot sa gap certification kay libre ni sa wala ni sa bayad. Unlike sa uh, organic certification mahal, onya uh, gamay na lang ang certified nato diri sa Central Visayas sa 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 organic. Mm, a handful of them. Na, I God's grace certified na sila. God's grace farm certified na sila. Mo nang sustain, uh, sustain good nilang certification. Sige, so I think stays no more. Ni sinias na mangit no si Sir Mario no nga wala na gitay uh, 
enough time no na purpose namay gidang 1 hour na to discussion although siguro daghan pa gyud kay i-discuss no atong mga panelists but siguro stays pangayuan na lang muna mo siguro og uh, closing statement no so kung unsa toy wala na muna pangutana nga angay pa yung ipahibaw sa public so siguro sir ma'am pwede niyo ma-share so stays mm -hmm. yes ma'am he is murag human na gid atong oras ron so pwede guro ta mo start ni engineer January Labandero mga closing statements lang nato sir so, akong closing statement lang is uh, tips lang. Uh, these are five keys for safer food and, uh, from WHO, World Health Organization. You must always keep the food or the working area or working environment clean. Kung limpyo ang atong environment, of course, walay ma-introduce nga possible contaminants sa atong food. Limpyo atong kamot, walay ma-introduce. Kay ingon sila, atong hands is the best vehicle for disease transmission or pathogenic microorganism transmission. Then separate raw and cooked food para ma malikay na tong cross-contamination, poultry products, meat products, ina -ina. and then cook food thoroughly. So, lutoon yun itong maayo, ma-reduce na mga pathogenic microorganism or ma ma wala na siya during consumption. Then keep food at safer, safer temperature. Kung bugnaw na nato i-serve, 5 degrees below, and then kung hot na nato i-serve, 70 degrees above. Then, Use safe water and raw materials. Sa so, na natong alimpyo atong preparation, alimpyo atong working environment, kung hugaw ang atong materials yung panggamit, di, walay, di, walay regular testing ang atong water yung ipanggamit. Ang atong materials, di, uh, gikan sa mga certified nga mga uh, suppliers. So yun ana, mga ito mga timan ana to, to have a safer uh, food. Okay, we also you, have Miss Lucretia Matugas from the FDA. Okay, um, tips lang po. <laughs> um, since um, diligid ato i-compromise ang ato ang sanitation sa atong product. So, i-encourage ito mo, kung kinsa itong gustong mag-process, mga small, micro, pwede lang mo maka sa office or seminar muna. Um, coordinate with us or the DUST. DUST or the DTI or DA, siguro na mga seminars, or uh, call FDA office for assistance. And then, once na na uh, sec registration of DTI, and then apply mo for mayor's permit or barangay clearance, will do. Um, pwede na mo maka-apply online. So, na atay tutorial um, at 9 a.m. every Monday. So, welcome kayo mo. So, free na siya. Para sigid maka assist mi sa inyo ha. Thank you. We also have Dr. Wilberto Castillo from the DA. Now, uh, uh, sa DA, uh, ako lang siguro awago na ato mga farmers nga magpa-certify sila sa ilang mga farms. Uh, GAP certification. This is uh, libre ni siya. Although ang ko mga uh, voluntary pa mga ang uh, GAP uh, one so dili gud ingon na nga kuan gyud. Now, the only way nga Ako po encourage ang mga consumers po ang the only way nga magpa-certify ang ato mga farmers kung mo di man tag uh, uh, gap certified produce kay di man po sila magpa-certify kung ang market dili po sila mo demand sa kanang uh, kanang safe nga nga farm produce so ingana lang kanang uh, tudluan nato atong mga consumers nga nga Ang sakaron man good wala pata anang niabot bito nga punto nga akani akong paliton kay organically grown ni akani kay gap certified ni as long as uh, available affordable na siya sa market mo na to ang paliton so uh, careful kana atong mga mga litos ka usually mga salad mga salad mga kuan uh, i'm not saying nga kuan ha Nagi, uh, nagi residue sa to sa results sa kwan sa nagi pesticide residue. Thank, Thank you, you, sir. We also have Mr. Brian Ibanez from DOST. Thank you. Um, um, ang sa mo na sa DOST, we continue to invite everyone sa to food safety services in the in the Department of Science and Technology sa region. And since, as I mentioned earlier, uh, since 2006, na atay mga na develop ng mga food safety teams in each regional office, in each region of in the Philippines. No? And it is composed not just of personnel from the DUST, but also from FDA. I think Mamlor is a, is, a, is a member of our team, and we are continuing to expand no, to better help 
Kaya kung gamay na kita, as mentioned by sir kanya, di gud kay ego atong personal to monitor, no? So, ko to plata sa kuan na gud daghan ta glow but magiso tag enforce and we understand that. So, ang atong mga trainings, consultancy, coaching services, free ra na siya, no? Visit us no gusto mo kanang one-on-one -on -one talk, no? And you can call us na ra gud mi didto uh, to help them and then second in addition na apo ditay laboratory for to test product kon contaminated ba for pathogen even some chemicals the rest are the a no the chemicals ila na sir or fresh produce and then di ba dati concern gani about expiry date shelf life of food product timing po kayo i'm the i'm still i think i still i'm still the head of the shelf life testing laboratory of the DOST nya requirement ma'am no sa CPR so malo imi sa mong kuan kay sa mong kay di na mo ginakaya pud sa FDA nya not put a limitation no we understand buhat sa uban kay napuno na man laboratory Definitely, maka test gin mi product karon sa mo expire. No, na, na, ay, na alang gin minimal amount. Pero ang kanang amount nga bayaran, gamay regin mo rag, siguro mga 10% ra sa what the private laboratories are are charging. No, because 90-80% is subsidized by the government. Pariyos ato mga training. So, we want everyone to avail of all these services in our in our region. And thank you. Thank you kayo sir no. Ang daghan jud kay tag na storyaan karong adlaw ma'am Hayes. Untag i-apply pod sa tong mga listeners karon ang ilang na learn about food safety and sanitation sa ilang panimalay ma'am Hayes. Okay, thank you Stace no. So ana man gitay oras no. So in behalf of PIE7, Agio7, DYMR Radio Pilipinas, Cebu Philippine News Agency and My TV Channel 30 would like to thank our Panelists today, stays no sa pagdiscuss nato no regarding sa food safety. Food safety is everybody's responsibility. Like what you mentioned, ni Sir Brian, ganin ano nga it should start at home no. So mura siya way of life na lang ginato, sir no, para maintain nato ang ka safety sa ato mga pagkaon. So siguro kita kita na lang tasa nung simana. I would like also to thank our media friends nga ni join nato karong adlawa. Thank you so much. And um, kini si Hazel Gloria and with me is Stacy Maribalaja. Magaingon sa kasayuran ang kaugmaran.